In the annals of Westeros, the fate of the Seven Kingdoms hinged on pivotal moments, but none held as much consequence as the fateful encounter at the Tower of Joy. In this alternate reality, where Arthur Dane's blade found its mark, the course of history was forever altered. The dawn had broken over the Red Mountains of Dorne, casting a soft, golden hue upon the Tower of Joy. As the battle reached its climax, Sir Arthur Dane, the Sword of the Morning, dueled with Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell, and his loyal companions. The legendary skill of Dane's swordsmanship proved too much for Stark, and the duel ended with a single, decisive blow. The outcome was as tragic as it was unforeseen, Eddard Stark lay dead at Arthur Dane's feet, and with him, the revelation of Lyanna Stark's secret. But even in his moment of triumph, Arthur's heart ached for the child born in the tower, the only son of Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark. With a heavy heart, Arthur made a decision that would shape the boy's destiny. He took the newborn Egon Targaryen back to Starfall, his ancestral home, to protect the last remnant of the fallen dynasty. There, he entrusted the child to the care of the Danes, his loyal vassals, and raised him as his own son. Arthur delivered the boy himself to his family before riding hard for King's Landing. Before the newly crowned King Robert, Arthur Dane stood before the usurper and knelt. Robert declared that his place in the King's Guard was still his provided he swear his allegiance and his life to him, like Baristan Selmy had done before him. Yet Arthur's honor and love for the fallen Rieger compelled him to decline. King Robert furious at this devotion to the dead prince allowed him one final sliver of mercy. Go, scurry back to Starfall and live out the rest of your days in disgrace. If you ever leave that keep of yours I will have your head. Leave now while I still allow it. Robert bellowed. Arthur Dane rode home to Starfall far from being distraught at the death of his old life but rather renewed with a new purpose to serve his former prince by raising the new king. Egon's existence remained a closely guarded secret, known only to a select few. The brutal murder of Rieger's children at the hands of the mountain during the sack of King's Landing served as a convenient smokescreen to shield the child's true identity. Years passed, and the boy grew under Arthur's tutelage. Egon's true lineage was known only to him, Arthur, and the Danes of Starfall. Yet, as he reached his teenage years, Egon's destiny called him to action. The death of King Robert Baratheon, gored by a boar while hunting, sent shockwaves throughout the Seven Kingdoms. The time had come for Egon to claim his birthright and, with it, the throne of Westeros. It was Arthur who stood before the young man, his eyes filled with the weight of duty and destiny. Egon, Arthur said, his voice filled with gravitas, the time has come for you to reclaim what is rightfully yours. The Iron Throne awaits. Egon, now a young man of remarkable skill with a sword, looked at the legendary blade of House Dane, Dawn, hanging on the wall. It had been a symbol of his family's honor for generations. I am ready, Egon replied with a determined gaze, taking a step towards his destiny. Arthur stepped forward and grasped the hilt of dawn, unsheathing the blade in a fluid motion. The blade's shimmering light bathed the room in an ethereal glow. He held it before Egon. This is dawn, Arthur said solemnly. It has been wielded by many worthy warriors of House Dane, including myself. But now, it belongs to you, Egon Targaryen. You are worthy of this sword, and you are worthy of being your father's son. As Arthur passed on to Egon, the young man felt the weight of history in his hands. It was a symbol of his birthright, a reminder of the legacy he carried, and a testament to the man who had raised him as his own. With a sense of purpose burning in his heart, Egon Targaryen, the true heir to the Iron Throne, embarked on a journey to claim his destiny. In the echoing halls of Starfall, Arthur Dane watched his surrogate son walk away, a proud smile gracing his lips. The Sword of the Morning, once a guardian of secrets, had become a harbinger of a new era, where the Targaryen legacy would rise from the ashes and reclaim its place in the history of Westeros.